I want to introduce now Steve Palakadary. He's communications manager at Southwest Solutions and a documentary filmmaker. You're going to see both Gerald Butler, the musician, and other guests of ours today, Freddie Harris, in this film that Steve created. Steve? Hi. Um, more than a year ago, um, I, I work for a nonprofit in southwest Detroit, but I'm also a filmmaker. But more than a year ago, I was driving to work, and I saw someone huddled in the doorway of a building. And he seemed to be writing or drawing. I couldn't tell which one. But I passed him many times. And ultimately, you know, you're always a little bit afraid when you're going to approach a stranger and particularly a stranger in these kinds of circumstances. But ultimately, I got out of my car and tried to figure out and went over and I approached Freddie Harris, who was there, and saw what he was doing. And uh, at first, you know, when I was just driving past him, I thought he was just doing. But as it turns out, he was an incredibly talented artist. And he spent his entire day drawing things just out of his imagination. He'd been homeless for almost his entire life. And, um, at that time, I embarked on the possibility of seeing if we could help him get off of the streets and possibly into housing. And he allowed me to tell the story at the same time on film. So this is a film that I created that deals with Freddie and another individual who was living in a shelter that uh, we ultimately housed through Southwest Housing. It's going to thing that led me to become homeless. Uh, uh, depression around my family and uh, high level of uh, depression uh, what uh, really dominated my uh, whole lifestyle life itself and uh, that I had a you know really hard time trying to deal with the depression at a younger age and uh, to this very day it's still uh, uh, I'm still having a problem with it. Um, it's been a real perilous uh, problem or uh, something uh, really uh, hard to deal with, and especially when you don't have not too many people to uh, turn to or talk to. And uh, especially with a individual, a young individual growing up, and um, there's, not, uh, there's not a lot of people that are really, especially as uh, us, uh, as uh, black or colored people, you don't really understand depression that much, especially on the uh, long term. Well, we can uh, really assist each other on how to. Uh, come up with plans or ideas to uh, deal with the problem. And uh, when it runs through a family, it's really devastating because uh, it's hard to uh, work through life. Uh, I've always had a problem with going through school, education, and uh, that's, why, that's why I really didn't uh, stick with the uh, uh, you know, educational wise, I really didn't stick with it. So, uh, in a way, I failed in that area when it comes to getting my education. Freddie, can, can you tell us what age did you become homeless? Uh, the age I, I became homeless was at uh, 19. I had uh, several faults with the, uh, my family members, sisters, and you know, things happen because I, I was uh, really not working hard enough to uh, uh, deal with my problem with the depression. And uh, I had a hard time or a difficult time trying to uh, seek any uh, medical, you know, uh, making arrangements uh, medically or, or mentally, you know, go see doctors or physicians, anything like that. 
So uh, I ended up on the street at the age, but uh, uh, being separated from my sister, I had to go into a shelter situation, uh, which uh, I've, I've been doing that for uh, several years at age, all the way up to my um, early 20s, mid 20s, late 20s, 30s. It was a continuous thing uh, throughout my lifestyle. Freddie, we're going to talk about, um, and we're going to show some of your art, and we want you to talk about the role that art played in your recovery. Um, at, this is in the film that will be uh, uploaded on the website, by the way. Um, and we understand what the film shows you living under the 14th Street Bridge. Uh, being one step above homelessness, he worked with the most attainable art materials he could get, which lined paper from a notebook. All of his work, all of his artwork is on these eight and a half by 11 sheet paper, and he has binders full of them. Freddie, in the movie, it, it, it sort of makes the point that you always had a pen or a piece of paper. How was drawing, how did art play a role in your life and your recovery? Uh, I've been drawing ever since I was uh, early age, in my uh, younger years, uh, until now. So it's, uh, I always used the uh, form of art in a uh, way of, uh, you know, like an outlet. Uh, whenever I was bored or didn't have anything to do, I would refer myself to my art. Uh, I managed to get materials from uh, uh, other people, or I'll find a pencil, or I managed to uh, come across with some change or something like that to uh, use in my form of arts. Sometimes I would run across somebody who wanted to give me uh, a notepad, or I'd try to find some paper. Uh, now and then I would go to the, uh, like the main uh, library on Woodward, and. Uh, and uh, do some drawing there. Um, Can I show these some of these pieces? Yeah, that's all. And then um, Steve's going to come up. Steve's organization um, works with Freddie. That's some of the Steve's going to talk about how his organization um, has services for people like Freddie who are suffering from all kinds of challenges. Um, we can actually pass this book around. And uh, Freddie is going to be one of the artists who will be displaying artwork at our concert next weekend. Um, but there's color, there's, there's ink drawings. Can you talk about um, how this helped you? How, how did you feel with your depression when you were creating the art? Well, it, it, it uh, alleviated the, uh, the problem. Wow. Like I said, of, uh, it was an outlet that I needed. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, I would do it as much as possible to uh, build up uh, some sort of portfolio.